everybody, this is Matt from Cincy Jungle. Well, I just completed a full 16-game breakdown of the Bengals' offense in 2019. Uh, obviously, there were some big changes throughout the year. Uh, and I want to focus today on the run game, and specifically the toss play. Now, that was a big change that the Bengals made during the course of the year. And that's been documented. You know, John Sheeran, uh, my colleague over at Cincy Jungle, uh, did a piece during the year about the changes that they made mid-season, all right? And it's been it's been well documented. Literally on the, the flight home from London, they realized that what they were doing in the run game wasn't working. And Zach Taylor, uh, Callahan, and, and Jim Turner, they all got together and said, hey, we got to change this. We got to figure it out. So they switched to more man blocking in the run game as opposed to zone blocking. And it had a major impact, all right? Now, you look at, I mean, just look at Joe Mixon's numbers at the beginning of the season at the end. They were able to run the ball pretty effectively the rest of the year after they made these, these changes. Um, so we definitely expect them to continue with this as, you know, we come into the 2020 season. So when you, when you hear this, so what does it mean, all right? Uh, as we look at the big changes that took place, I mean, they ran the ball more. <laughs> you know, if you want to look at volume, they, they certainly ran the ball more. Uh, at the beginning of the year, they ran 80 inside zone plays, all right, straight up inside zone. It's not even including the 13 uh, zone reads. They ran some outside zone as well, all right, out of a total of 146 run plays. So very high proportion. When you add all those things together, looking at just those zone plays, that's 109 out of 146 run plays. So really you know, really high percentage there of the run game. Uh, they ran a little bit of duo. They ran one power play, you know, like so not much in the in the down scheme. Now we saw some increases in those down scheme plays in the second half of the season, all right? We saw about twice as much uh, duo. We saw a, you know, we saw 12 power plays, which is you know, a pretty big increase from, from next to nothing that they were doing. So we saw an increases in those areas inside zone took a step back but zone read they ran more zone reads in the second half of the season they ran more outside zone and where they really saw the biggest difference though was on the toss play now i'm kind of grouping toss plays together uh and and you can toss with or without a pull all right and really the toss play without the pull that they the way they were running is essentially outside zone blocking. So you can kind of lump that in as a zone scheme play as well. But we're going to talk about it because it looks the same, all right? When you're, when you're, when you're just watching uh, on TV, you don't necessarily see everything the line's doing right away, and it looks the same because they tossed the ball. So we'll talk about that a little bit too. But the total number of tosses increased from 11 to 66. 11 in the first eight games, 66 in the last eight game. All right, that's so literally six times, right? Um in the first eight games, two of those were more of that outside zone type. And in the last eight games, we saw 19 that were that type. So all in all, total with any kind of pull, we had 47, 47 toss plays that involved some sort of pull. Now, based on what the defense was giving them, who pulls, how many guys pull, that changed. So that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to look at the most common ways that the Bengals ran the toss play at the end of the 2019 season. And that's something we definitely expect to continue and to be a prominent part of their run game as we move forward into 2020. All right, so let's take a look at the toss play. The first toss we're going to look at is the GC pull toss play. All right, so that's the guard and center. We're going to get a pull from the play side guard and the center. Now, they like to run this to the three technique. That's when you're going to see them run in this play. So the three technique is the defensive tackle who is lined up in the B gap, all right? And you might hear the term outside shade of that guard, all right? So he's lined up right there. You often see a three technique to the tight end side. And in this case, they are actually running this play to the tight end as well. So here's how it's going to work. We've got a tight end and a wing. They're going to down block. Okay, these guys are down blocking. He's working up to the linebacker with that down block. The play side tackle, also down blocking, 
taking care of that three technique that we talked about previously. Then we're going to get a pull from the play side guard, and he's really essentially going to kick out the force player out here. And then we're going to get a, a pull from the center as well. He's going to pull around and lead up in the hole. On the back side, we're going to get cutoff blocks. All right, so basically, he is just trying to sneak his way in front of this nose tackle. All right, that's the, the backside guard. He's going to sneak his way, get between the nose tackle, all right, that one technique nose tackle, and the ball. Don't let him run that thing down, just get in his way. And we're going to get the same thing here out of the backside tackle. So as we look at it again here from the tight angle, down block, pull, kick out, pull, lead up. And we have got a very nice run for Mr. Joe Mixon. All right, the Bengals ran it again later in that same game. Now, here we get a little bit of a different formation. But again, they're, they're running it to the three technique. They're running it to the tight end side. This time, it's a little bit different because they don't have a wing there to block that play side linebacker. So because that's the case, all right, we, we still get a down block here on the tight end. We get a down block here from the tackle, all right? The tackle down blocks the three technique. Now, we're going to get a pull around from the guard, and there's not really a secondary contained player out here. This guy's actually going to back up a little bit. So who's he going to block? He's going to block this linebacker who's flowing, all right? He's going to block that linebacker who's flowing. The center's going to pull around. We're going to get this linebacker scraping. That's who the center's going to pick up. And once again, cutting off the backside pursuit. All right, so as we take a look here from the tight shot, you'll see what I'm talking about. Again, GC pull, coming around, blocking out on that first pursuing linebacker. Hopkins really buries the second guy there, right? If you keep an eye on Hopkins, watch him as he takes on this, uh, this pursuing linebacker. Right? He does a great job on that. All right, on the on the front side here, non-pullers, we have the tight end, we have the tackle. They're gonna block down. All right, they take care of it pretty well. We don't get a great block on the on the uh the three technique, but it's a toss play. It's out of there quick. He prevents it from you know really being pursued just by his position. Just similar to what they're doing on the back side here. Right on the back side, they just gotta get in the way. Get in the way, cut it off. All right, now the tackle's trying to work up to the next level. He's not going to get it because of how fast that guy's pursuing. You know, at the same way, in the same token, if this guy was really threatening bending down the line of scrimmage, he'd be there to cut that off as well. All right, so the next type of toss we're going to talk about is the TG pull or tackle guard pull. So previously we saw the GC pull that the Bengals will run to a three technique. The opposite of that is the one technique, right? The weak side of the 4-3 defense. And when they are running the toss to that side, we see a TG pull, right? Or a tackle guard pull. So in that case, generally we're not going to have a tight end, all right? Because it's the weak side of the formation. So we'll take a look here. Now, first off, this guy's going to disappear, right? He's going to go in motion. But you got to have somebody to block the edge player. So that even though there's no tight end, they're going to have an H back or they're going to have a receiver who's, who's pretty tight, who's going to block that guy. So this guy's gone. It's going to be this guy blocking down. All right. And that's really the only down block that we're going to have because the tackle is pulling around and kicking out. The guard is pulling around and leading up. Now the cutoff blocks that we saw on the backside, uh, of the previous version of toss, right, of that that GC toss, they start with the center now. So we got a one technique. The center's going to reach him, going to cut him off, prevent him from, from pursuing. We saw in the last clip the, the tackle worked up to the linebacker, and I said, yeah, if, if he gets that defensive end bending down hard, he'll take care of that. He won't work up to the linebacker. You're going to see the same thing out of Billy Price here, and he does a great job with it. He's the backside guard. All right, he steps here in case this guy is shooting into the A gap. All right, but then he works up looking for second level pursuit. 
and the backside tackle, he's going to cut this guy off. But again, if, if that guy just goes into the A-gap right now, it's going to be really hard for him to get there. So, you know, the guard's going to step and, and look for that initially. But they're cutting off that backside pursuit. That's really what the, what the point of it is, what they're trying to do here. So let's take a look at the tight view now. Okay, motion, down block, pull around, kick out, pull around, lead up. A nice little run. Okay. Pull, lead up on the backside. Backside cut off, backside cut up, up to the second level. You know, eventually he's going to get that guy as, as he comes in pursuit. All right, this guy. And the backside tackle. Get into that B side or B gap player, excuse me, and a, a great cut there. All right, so we'll go a little bit earlier in that game. Now, once again, we're going to have a motion here. Emotions over, emotions back. Lots of motions in this offense as the season went on. All right, but we're going to get that tackle blocking down. We're going to get a TG pull. Why is it a TG pull? Well, who are we running it against? A one technique. We'll watch the pullers. Pull, kick out, pull, lead up. Great backside pursuit cut here by the center. Awesome job by Price. Stepping into that gap and then working up to that backside linebacker. He isn't blocking, but you know what? That guy's not making the play running underneath it. He's in position to block him if he's pursuing the way he should be. And the tackle doesn't quite get the, the uh, cut on this one. All right, but not terrible from the tackle. He gets there, he gets a position, he gets a body on him, slows him down, does enough. And another great run, all right, just like the last one we saw. Awesome run from Mixon here. All right, Mixon does a great job. All right, obviously these are blocked up very well, but Mixon does a great job on these toss plays. All right, so we talked about how the Bengals will run the toss play to the three technique. We talked about how they'll run it away from the three technique. But what about when there's a, a B gap player, a three technique or, or a four eye? What if they're in both gaps, all right, on both sides? So we'll take a look at that as we as we see against teams that like to run these odd fronts like the Dolphins, like the Patriots. In this case, they're only going to pull one guy. They're just going to pull the tackle out. All right. They'll pull the tackle. And then really the reach blocks are, are starting with that play side guard. All right. So as we look at this, you're going to get a receiver down block here. You're pulling out with the play side tackle. All right. And now we're reaching. And we're reaching from the center up to that linebacker. We're reaching from the backside guard to the nose tackle. All right. So we're really just getting the cutoff blocks on the backside, only pulling one guy out there trying to get out there real fast. So we'll take a look here. All right. That's a real good backside block here from Michael Jordan. Cutting it off. Reaching that nose tackle. All right. No gain on the play. Not, not as you know prolific as some of the other toss plays we've seen. All right. But this gives you an idea, an example of how they'll run it when they're facing this type of, of really bare front. All right. So finally, I want to talk about toss with no pull. Now, really, this is essentially outside zone. So as we take a look here, let's look at an outside zone without the toss. All right, so no toss here. Hands off as we watch the offensive line. What are they doing? For the most part, they're getting on a wide zone type of path, right? We've got some, some double teams in here that are, that are addressed. So like you see the left guard doesn't go flying out of there. Michael Jordan doesn't go flying out of there because he's got to help out on the first level. All right, now compared to this, now we get the toss. Again, what are we seeing really from the blocking, from the offensive line? Just like before, we get a, 
like a wide zone path. We get some cutoff blocks on the backside. Did a great job here, actually, by Trenton Irwin, who they picked up uh, while well, they, they uh, elevated from the practice squad for this game. It's his first NFL action. He actually steps down, gets in on that block, and then gets up to the linebacker, makes a great block there. But hey, look, this is the point I'm trying to make. This is basically outside zone. Now, it goes hand in hand. You're trying to affect the same area, right? You're trying to get the ball on the edge because this is a real wide outside zone you will see it cut back sometimes uh as as you did actually earlier in this game we'll show that right here you see this cut back because it's really essentially an outside zone right makes it cuts it way back here picks up a ton of yards on it so you know that is Really, essentially, like I said, an outside zone has a lot more in common with outside zone than the toss plays we see with, with pull. But, you know, when you're when you're watching initially, like you see the toss action, that's a little bit more obvious than what the Lions do most of the time. So I think, you know, in, in my head, a lot of people's heads, you kind of see that right away when you're thinking it's a toss. We definitely expect both of those things to continue. Uh, we want to, we're going to see the toss. We're going to see these guys moving. And that's what they like. And and you look at it, and they, they went out and they, they drafted Hakeem Adeniji. Athletic guy can move, can get out there on the edge from either the tackle or the guard position. Xavier Sulfilo, another guy that moves very well, can pull, right? He can block in space. So they went out and got more offensive linemen who they can do these same sorts of things with that they, they got good at, at the end of the year. They didn't say, hey, we weren't good at what we're doing at the first half of the year. Let's change for now, and then let's go out and get different personnel that are going to be better at those things we tried to do before. They said, hey, no, we're already good at this. We showed it in the last eight games of the year. We're going to get players who can make us even better at this, All right, who can do these same sorts of things. And that's what they did with the guys that went out there and got. So I'll have uh, more videos coming up based on my breakdowns of the Bengals offense from 2019. So make sure you are looking out for those. Uh, but this was uh, a look at the Bengals toss play in 2019. Thanks for checking it out.